set up in my guest room slash office and I have a great book to read to you today but before I read today I need my costume piece look at these jolly little leprechauns so it's St. Patrick's Day March 17th it's one of my favorite holidays not because I enjoy St. Patrick's Day but because it's also my birthday so very, very excited. Today I'm going to be reading How to Catch a Leprechaun by Adam Wallace. And he has written such a fun story for us today. I hope you guys really enjoy it. The dogs. Did you hear the dogs? The dogs are in the hallway. Having too much fun out there. We're going to be reading this story today, and then at the end of the read aloud, I have some activities you guys can work to complete at home, some things you can write about, as well as some creative STEM activities you guys can do at home. So, I hope you enjoy. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Uh-oh, we got shoes in the sink. Now you're talking. Look at this dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Now you're getting fancy. I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. <laughs> It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap, from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. I love this, it says, totally safe place for leprechauns. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect. But who will that child be? 
I love this story. I think it's so much fun, and I think it really gets us thinking about the leprechauns and traps and creativity. So my tasks for you today with this story, there's quite a few things we could do with this story. It's a great story. So the first one I think is the one that people will be most interested in doing is a STEM activity. I want you to design a trap. Design a leprechaun trap. You can draw it on paper. You can make it out of household items. I don't care. Snap a picture of it. I want to see this leprechaun trap. How are you going to catch the leprechaun? Another great task you can do with this book is to do a little research. Learn about the history of St. Patrick's Day. Where it originated, it actually started in Ireland with a Catholic saint. He truly was a saint. So it might be great for you to do some research with this story. And I've linked some great sites down below that you can follow to learn a little bit more about St. Patrick's Day. And finally, I want you to write for me about the leprechaun. Write and tell me about his personality. What was he like? What characteristics did we see from him? He certainly was not boring. That is for sure. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed our read aloud today with this great story. I hope you wore green on St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you enjoy your activities. Bye!